we're getting to the point now where um, we're getting, you know, serious. All that was playtime, right? Now it's serious. Now we're really starting to do scenes, all of that shit that I had you do, it's gone, right? We're, we're doing scenes, we're doing scene work, we're going to start thinking about, you know, what kind of blocking, like where, where am I in, in space here? We're not going to be doing any blocking today, but like, these are the next things that we're going to be thinking about. Any part that can be shot in the back of our minds as we do early early if you want to inspire someone to counter complacency, inspire them to right. act. Whereas so much of art today, especially reality and TV, people look, look at these shows and they get inspired, but they're living vicariously through them exactly. and they don't get off their chair. Exactly. And then there's no call to arms. They're exactly. complacent, remain, remain complacent, yes. and there's escapism. Yes. So when we want people to come see us, we don't want people to just check out and say, yeah, that was awesome, but then walk back and go back to their complacent right. lives. Hopefully they walk out and then, you know, do something, take action. That's the whole Art does not feed your soul. Art creates the foundation, the conditions where you yourself must go out and feed your soul or else you will die. If a man is hungry, you don't say that his hunger fed him. But his hunger is the thing that is making him go out and eat. Mm -hmm. So art does not feed your soul. Art is not art is the thing that, that makes you so hungry for nourishment that you must go out and make a change or else die. I think that if society is not ready to address it as as open, then it is up to us to bring those topics to light and get them to a point where okay, we are ready to talk about this. Like, yes, I believe fully in a completely perfect society. If Jeff was a fucking nutcase, he should be able to say, like, Zach, I'm having homicidal fucking feelings right now towards you or something right. like that, and, like, I just need to talk it out. But he's not going to say that on the fear that I might judge him or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So then we can use art as a catapult to be like, okay, it's okay to talk about situations like this. It's mm -hmm. okay to bring these things that are somewhat taboo or somewhat in the dark to light. Well, he doesn't really have one in the beginning, I suppose. You could say that his objective at the top of the scene is to, you know, what? Win the day, like get the, get the deal, get okay. the whatever on the phone. It's not really about us. Okay. But that can still be apparent in the choices you make. You might be a little bit thinking about something else and only coming off to when things really pull you in, yeah. pull you in right? When people really grab you. That's when you can, but it always has this thing of, you know, I've got something else to do. But probably somewhere along the line, something will grip you and you will change into a new objective. And so what is that? Will you be able to find it? Phil is either consciously or unconsciously trying to um, get over the, the sort of the pain that he feels in losing his child potentially losing his marriage his sort of stability there potentially he's trying to get over that um and that was what his his night was that's sort of his say like super objective his life drive but at the moment what's just happened right he almost had this brush with death um arty same thing right his his sort of life drive to get over you know that like the loss of his deal or the loss of his whatever's going on um so how does he do that i think he tries to be you know kind of really uh, tell it, tell it. telling jokes and 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 you know being the life of the party and telling him this story and yada yada and then for bonnie and then for bonnie you know what's going on it's 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 she's got it's a little bit more nebulous but how are we making interesting choices to tell a story? We've got uh, a phone call, we've got a friend and a conniving boyfriend, we've got, you know, a child somewhere in play. So you are in the house, you're in the apartment, and you are, um, you're trying to get your wife back. You don't have to tell me, but think now, you know, you could think up the specifics of how this would work. What would emotionalize you? What would make this real? What happens if you don't get it? 
So that's what you're going to be doing. I'm going to make you, again, do a similar thing. He's an enemy relationship to you. The, the trick for you, the difficulty for this relationship is that he's going to treat you like shit, mm -hmm. and you got to you can't blow up because that's going to ruin your objective. Yeah. You've got to be able to take that and put it on top of this, nevertheless, i got to hide you okay. kind of thing. Take a moment, do your emotionalization, do your preparation, and really just wing it and trust and see what happens. Allow yourself permission to do that. So take some time, and whenever you're ready, we'll come out. I'm here to tell you that I was, I was wrong. I changed my ways, though. Because you're more important to me than anything. We can have that kid. I can be a stand-up father. I'm going to be there for him. I'm going to be there for you. Maybe I need to be needed. I love you. You're everything to me. something. So it, it should have a little bit of this energy of, of you know, hey, hey. All right, you know, we're, uh, we're uh, uh, your call is in here. Already. I gotta tell you something. Uh, if you have any, uh, you know, I'm, what am I doing? I'm taking off a coat or equipment. If you have any, uh, uh, you know, coat, to, you know, that, that would be nice. You know, where am I? Like, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting ready to, you know, have a good time a little bit. Right. You know what I mean? Coming in with a little bit more our energy of like, you know, we're, we're keeping things okay, moving. What's hey, next? What's next? Keeping the party, keeping the party going. Okay. Finally, he's so weird to you that you kind of take a moment. That's the whole point of the of the coming home, creating the reality. When you create the reality of having something to do, then all you have to do is stop. And suddenly we're immediately gripped by something, right? So all you have to do to to really handle that moment home is create the reality of what you're doing beforehand. Right. So that when he finally gets so weird, all you have to do is literally stop and look at him. Mm -hmm. um, Phil, you're, um, this is like that, that Lenny thing where she's like your pet mouse or something. This is like some sort of sexual object that like you are, you're like a 10 year old hiding a bullet. And you're just being, what are you trying to do? So what is, what is it? that you are trying to do. You are trying to get her to think of you as a stand-up guy, right? And harmless. And harmless. I am harmless. I'm trying to get her to think that I'm harmless. I'm trying to get her to think that I am 
uh, generally. <coughs> and so all of that kind of underneath energy and stuff is going to create the, the weirdness of, you know. Mm -hmm. We have cocaine, my lady, you know, that kind of like weird thing that she's doing because normal people don't behave like that. And so all she's got to do is look at you and be like, well, who is this fucking guy, right? <laughs> oh, if I have come off in any way, uncivilized, you know. So that's, that is, it's, it's just very like, you know, uh, uh, Bonnie was the thing that was going to save you, right? So now that she's here, it's like, oh, shit. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. this, this idea that, like, you know, you were close to death, right? If Bonnie doesn't come, I'm going to die. If Bonnie doesn't come and save me, I'm going to kill myself. Like, that's how intense you were in the beginning. You know, I'll give you a break, though. And you're like, no, no. You know, just kind of like, no, ha, ah! except you're, like, choking. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But it's like this, please, Eddie, please, tell me what's wrong with me. I know that I'm a fuck up, but I need you to, you know, so that's, and so you go, like, ape shit. Over it. But it's always in service to this. I am I am wrong. Please tell me what's wrong with me. These problems are such a joy to have. And so, you know, if if you guys are, you know, fine, carry on. It was just me, but but for me it was it was just, you know, taking the time to take a step back and and, and re kind of think about for all the stress that, that we might be feeling trying to get this up in time, what else would we be doing with our lives? What else would I be doing with my life?